Of late, there have been tremendous amount of uh, interest in two different forms of investing in mutual funds. But there is a little bit of less of clarity around both these forms and which is what we're going to dwell in in this uh, video. We're going to talk about regular investing in direct investing in mutual funds. And what does regular investing mean? What does it consist of? What does it offer and what is the cost? And in case of direct as well, we're going to explore both these options. Now, what is regular investing? Regular investing means when you approach a bank or a mutual fund distributor whose services you want to employ to buy mutual funds or to invest in mutual funds, it's called a regular option. Why is it called a regular option? Because the NAV, the fund price, the cost of buying includes a small percentage of brokerage that is due to this uh, intermediary called the distributor. Now that is why it's called a regular. Now what is direct? Direct is when you buy directly from the mutual fund without an intermediary. Of course, it is cheaper because there is no intermediary involved. You get to buy it at least at 1% lesser in case of equity funds and in case of debt funds, maybe at slightly lesser amounts. But there's definitely a difference that you are buying it cheaper to that extent. Absolutely, direct funds are more financially less expensive than buying through distributor model. But you need to also understand what you get in the regular option, which you may not necessarily get in the direct option. Normally, you will have the services of a distributor who will give you a choice of various investment products as per what your needs are. You will have a goal-based investment option that is put to you by the distributor suited to your risk appetite as per your need. Third, these investments will also be followed up with maybe at least a periodic visit or a call or an engagement once in three or six months to ensure that they are performing in line with what it needs to be done. In terms of servicing, let's say you suddenly need a redemption of money, you want to kind of uh, switch from scheme A to scheme B because there is a change in the scheme or change in the fund house, change in all of this. All these services are provided for free by the mutual fund distributor. Apart from redemption switches, you also have non-financial transactions. You want to change the bank. You want to nominate somebody. You want to change your address. All those transactions also can be facilitated through the mutual fund distributor. If you need portfolio statements at the time of filing your advance tax, your auditor wants capital gains reports, all these can be facilitated through the mutual fund distributor. So the mutual fund distributor is really somebody who plays reasonably good role for the revenue that uh, he earns in terms of helping you make those investment choices. In case of direct, all of this you will have to do it on your own unless you work with a registered investment advisor. That also is an option available. If you choose a registered investment advisor, the advisor will help you create the financial plan which uh, give you the choice of investments that you need to invest into and so on and so forth. But in return for that, the investment advisor will also charge you a fee for uh, providing the service. The only thing in the regular, the fee is embedded within the mutual fund NAV and therefore it is not visible to you, it is therefore goes to the mutual fund distributor. In the direct option, if you choose a registered investment advisor, he will charge you a separate fee and that you will need to pay him for his services, while the mutual fund house will only charge you for their own services. Now both these models are different my friend and it's up to you to make the choice. Now I'll give you a quick rundown of what I think each one will suit. Now direct is suited to people who are very well aware of 
what the mutual funds are. There are lots of people who have a passion for investing. They may not be professionals in their own right, but they have great passion. They want to spend time. They are either retired or they are people who have the time and inclination to go deeper into it. These are people who should explore a direct because the direct allows you the option of doing all this stuff at a relatively lower cost. It's very similar to cooking, my friend. If you can cook your own meal and you love being your own chef, nothing like it, it saves the money. But if you're not a great cook, if you're good at something else, you'd prefer if an expert cooks your meal, then regular plan is for you. Because for that price, you will get the added service and added advantage of a great value. So be wise to choose the correct option. There is no right and wrong in this. Choose the right option and go ahead. There is a common misnomer that by using direct and by saving up that 1% in the long run, that portfolio will get benefited by a couple of lakhs. Yes, it is true if you look at it from that perspective. But always understand that if you had investments in the wrong fund for some reason by going direct, then there is no gain at all. There is only loss that you will make at the end of the day. So the assumption that you will get it right itself is an assumption that one needs to look carefully at. So between regular and direct, like I mentioned, there is no right and wrong. It's up to you to choose the option that works for you.